mazee story yangu inanipeleka mwaka wa 2018 so 2018 wadau ilikuwa mwaka fiti sana panda yangu sababu after kuka nje sana mazee nilikuwa pale behind the scenes cv yangu tu ni uandishi uandishi directing kidogo hapa na pale hapo kwa ofisi tulikaa tukasema ah since hizi suna joni ile show tulikuwa tunadua at the time since suna joni naenda kuisha si upige kaskodi tu kidogo tu kadogo hata kama ni episode 3 4 tuone tu itakuwaaje mazee ah idea mufti mbaya so nilikuwa nimejitosa pale e, ile tu si ati nilikuwa ati main ama ah, ah, ni ile tu eh, kujikumbusha kumbusha tu unajua so nikaingia pale tukapiga masinema sinema ah, ili tubamba deadly so the same year around kitu may hapo e, producer wetu mazao nguvu sana de moja mrembo kuruka anaitwa Denise akakaa makadai e, wadau eh jo script zimekam e, na kuna character iko hapa mazee naona na itabidi tu audition juu hii character vile tunaiona hii, hii ni long term hii itasukuma karibu seasons kama nne hivi so hatuwezi ibahatisha so itabidi tu set up ki audition wasoa kama audition mwenye anapenya all the best So ikakuwa sawa. E, Akati kama tuko na contacts nini tumsukumie avutie wase wakam wakam audition. So kwa hiyo harakati e, mrembo pale e, Catherine Kamau Keta Actress akadai ah niko na mtu. Ai 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 wacha nikusukumie namba. E, ah no actually wacha na mcall. Na mcall mzee akam akam hizo auditions. So sawa sawa sawa. So Keta akafanya mambo yake akavutia Omresh Omresh akakam auditions. So audition day ndio imefika mi niko kwa set pale na ua sinema kama K you know how we do mm-hmm. so nikiwa kwa harakati harakati hapo producer ana kama na nisho eh hey, yo abeli eh hey, itabidi step out kidogo eh hey, ile jeshi audition washaanza kufika eh hey, suta enda ucheki cheki ni aje ah nikambie na mambo eh hey, so mimi nikajiondoa set nikaingia pale kando maze so mresh nilikutana na eh hey, hiyo time eh hey, msanii mzee namjua fiti sana kutoka kwa few eh, shows hapa na pale eh, ameka mcondition so tukaka chini tukabonga kiasi nikachukua script aka do lines zake nini 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 but from the word go vile niliangalia tu mrefu unajua tu ile tu kumwangalia hivi tu for the first time deep down nilikuwa nishajua ah uh, ah uh, huyu uh, hataweza not because acting yake haiwezi by the she is a very brilliant actor ni vile tu maze ile character tulikuwa tume envision na huyu mresh sekta ya maze appearance in terms of age azikuwa zinapelekana maze msani amekaa mbana na kati nijo mwenye tume envision hapa kwa script tunataka mtu anaweza qualify mtu wako in say early 30s mid 30s hapo maze ah so ile tu ndio usivunje mse ro nika audition tu but kwa mind nilikuwa tu nishajua hapa huyu rosa afi atapenya juu hiyo audition tape wa kurgenzi wa kika tu chini wa watch wataona aa hiyo she's too young so akapiga mambo yake fiti nini nini ah ikakuwa sawa so mimi namjua kama best ya kate actress unaona so yasha maliza audition yake mimi najiambia eh, nilipiga tu assumption ya kifala hapo ah ni best ya kate So of course Kate atakamu wa bonge bonge nini ndio mresha ishie. So nikamwambia na mambo uh, Kate atakamu hivi eh wacha mimi nirudi wapi? Nirudi set. Kumbe Kate yeye yeah, ako, 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 ako set sasa anapiga kitu. So haezi toka hapo. Unajua ako, ako should, na, plus yeah, tu walikuwa na AOB ilikuwa tu ni mresha apige audition yake akimaliza aishi aishie. So mzee mresh alienda up kuka hapo. Yo karibu wana wana upuzi. Anakaa tu akingoja kitu hakuna. So at some point tunatoka hivi set mazee mimi na Kate tunamuona si wote tunashtuka tunashindwa haya bado uko hapa eh akadai aku anajua anafaishi alikuwa a, a, nilikuwa nimemsho anafa ategee Kate mazee nikamwambia wow my bad hiyo ni blanda yangu mimi nilidhani since Kate ndio amekuita mko na vitu mbili tatu hivi mnaweza taka kuchapiana mazee akaambia haina mambo iko tu sawa akachukua bagi yake fiti na akaishia mazee haku cause hakufanya yani hakukaa nikaa ameboeka alikuwa yani ah, alini jazz tu alini jazz dead ingekuwa msanii mwingine hapo eh hey, angekuwa uu meka mtu wana wa, he he noma so akachukua vitu zake akaishia so mimi nimetulia mtaa like a few days later hata sidhani ilikuwa imefika 3 days. Ka 2 days later eh, niki weekend so nimetulia mtaa. Na scroll tu pale IG pole 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 pop. Wadao. Nakutana na post Umresh ameweka maze pale kwa Instagram. 
Ay 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 nilisikia tu ro imevunjika yani maji imemwagika kwa tumbo Ay 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 maze ili ni chapa usheskia hit by a thunderbolt <laughs> Wow Eh hey, ili ni chapa mbaya Wadau pause Wateni ni wapeleke nyuma nyuma hii time tunaongea ni around May Let's go back to around Easter ya ya, ya 2018. So, umsani wetu e, mtani kwao wako na culture fit sana. E, Easter maze e, just like Christmas na hizo ma holidays zingine big big, Easter bana tukutane kama familia tukae chini tujuliane hali maze unajua? So, vile umresh ali move out na brother yake pia ni kama alikuwa ame move out. So, wako ka culture kakaanza kuka nika kana dedi nika watu waitili wa manani sana so this particular year 2018 ah no ikasemekana hapana hii hii culture ifai kudai tufanyeni hivi easter tukutaneni maze let's just have a good time let's have a good time so wakakutana eh wakaenda mtaflani ngong road na jita brew bistro ah mankuli mankuli pale vinywaji ni nini nini wanabonga tu you know typical family stuff then wakiwa tuko hiyo harakati baba maze mzae wa familia akasema eh na wadao jo e, after hii mambo naomba niingie kwa farm kidogo wako na farm area za embu eh niende nitulie tulie hapo kama wiki hivi niangalie form huko inakakaaje eh maze si hiyo iko sawa ah sawa kadai iko sawa we after hapa wezi wezidi so sherehe zikaisha hafla zikaisha kila mtu akarudi mtaa na ikakuwa ndio hivyo so just like a day before mzae aishie eh Um sani bana ko kwa set anafanya mambo yake nini nini anaona phone inalia anaona ah ni mzae so anachukua ambie eh hey, ni aje dad unasemaje ah kumbe bana ni pocket dial ah inakuwa hizo hizo ah, makosa hiyo ah uh, i think imejipiga bahati mbaya but since umechukua anyway uko aje uko fit shoot mnasukuma eh hey, ah sasa sawa mimi niko poa mimi ndio nafanya nini nakimbia side za embu si utashinda fit nitashinda poa pap wadao That was the very last phone call. Umsani alisikia kutoka kwa budake. After hapo kila kitu lienda radio silence. Haya. Wasa wamebangaiza pale eh, eh kawiki kameisha. So mzae si ameshamaliza wiki yake pale pale Embu. Ame call mother on on a Sunday anamwambia ni aje ah, nishamaliza shughuli yangu eh, so mimi niko njiani na na kama hiyo time ni mid morning eh masaa 5 saa 5 hapo unajua embu simbali embu ukafinya fiti ah tu tu and a half hours na hiyo ni ile kufinya po ile ati overspa ah ile tu mwendo fiti tu tu and a half hours unafaa kuumeingia mtaa so hii simu imekuja ka around 11 ameambia eh, madam mave eh ni aje nishaanza safari na rudi Nairobi sasa sawa So tif- typically ka phone ime kama saa 5 by saa 8 hivi saa 7 ya yeah, saa 7 na nusu saa 8 mzae anafaa kuwashaingia ah mzee saa 8 mzae bado saa 9 saa 10 saa 11 ai eh hapana eh hey, mother kaona hapana hapa hapa kuna ka pressure hiyo ni sande jioni siku yenye mzae amesema anafaa kama so akachukua phone mzee anavutia mzae anasikia tu mteja 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 ai phone ni gani mzee usiku jioni kaingia usiku ndio hiyo wakadoze the following day hakuna mse amesikia anything kutoka kwa mzae maze ame disappear into thin air eh hey, mother kaona hapana yeye iwezi ngware kabisa hiyo mande akatoka kejani teke teke mpaka embu akaenda akaingia kwa farm huko mali mzae alikuwa anafanya mambo yake akauliza farm manager maze ni aje mzae alikuwa hapa nini jana eh hey, ametoka hapa kitu kama eh, saa ngapi saa sa, 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 sa hapo Eh akadai anarudi mtaa. Eh eh. Eh. Mazea tujamsikia na haja kuongelesha. Ah haja nibongesha after ende tuli agana tu kwaheri pap na akaishia. Eh. Mara katoka hapo. So buda kioko embu kwa farm waga anadoz kwa hoteli. Juu uko ni shamba tu si ati kuna keja. So akaingia pale kwa hoteli mzee alikuwa amelala mazea na angalia check out anaona ya check out time alitoka na most of his hoteli check out time waga ka 9 hapo 10. So asubuhi ali check out fit na, na virago zake vipoa. So ukipiga hesabu ya raka raka e, unaweza sema ali check out kwa hoteli akapiga tapo kwa shamba kidogo then shwap, kuelekea mtaa. Sasa mzee mzee anashindwa yo huyu mzee yako wapi mzee ameenda wapi so ikabidi arudi mtaa 
So vile alirudi mtaa akakol huyu msanii wetu huyu mresha akamwambia Jo, "Eh, hey, niaje? Um, unaweza kama hivi kejani?" Ah, maze msanii akadai, "Eh, hey, hey, maze niko kwa set, maze tuna shoot commercial flani na hizi vitu kawaida huagazinaisha usiku sana maze. So, tunaweza duaje? Tunaweza ongea ma- hii story kesho. Eh, as in kesho naweza kama. Ah, mother kambia, haina mambo. Kama kesho tutabonga. Hii time ajaambia maze mtu hii ni nini ime happen. So, msanii akapiga commercial yake fiti akamaliza akaingia wapi doze kesho asubuhi pap akaingia keja so anaingia pale keja anapata madha ameka pale na anti flani maze ee mood iko pale ai ai imearibika imearibika deadly so eh anauliza jo form form ni gani jo anamwambia eh eh maze tangu mzaa atoke home jana jioni no jana asubuhi maze hajafika mta hakuna msi anajua mali yuko uh, as in uh, Radio silence azina ajulikani yako wapi So msanii anashangao ai ajulikani yako wapi aje amepotea wapi Mmetafuta kila mahali huko ikakuwa yeye mzee hakuna mahali huko embo hatujauliza nini nini So ai hapa tunashukuru mzee mambo mambo si fiti Eh ikakuwa sawa basi itabidi tu launch ki manhunt tuone tuone kama tunaweza saidika So very fast wakaanza kazi kwa ma hospitali, ma police station, mocha, wak, mbaka Safcom wakaanza kuchekeka wanaweza get unajua kuna vile ukiwa place maze kuna tower yo ping kwa phone yako so safu wanaweza tell at this particular time signal yako ili ping kwa tower fulani iko place ka Runyenges so wanajua ah so ping ya mwisho kai ilionekana Runyenges basi mzaa yako samwe around hapo so waka pick employees on ni zote So ikakuwa ndio hivyo maze manhunt inapigwa pale lakini Mresh anaendelea na vitu zake kama kawa maze. Man wakamtafuta wakamtafuta kila mahali maze hakuna clue hakuna clue. Eh maze wakakaa chini jo kifamilia ikakuwa eh hey, maze since mimi msanii jo na bro wangu pia ako na anatambua mambo ya social media pia kiasi itabidi jo tu advertise kitu kwa social media jo. Ro safi ju ikutafuta tukiwa peke yetu maze tuna need ku spread your reach. So wakaingia kwa social media mazee wakaunda kiposta vizuri wakaisukuma pale kwa mtandao. Hiyo time tu mazee posta ndio inasukumwa hivi kwa mtandao. Ndio simu imekam kutoka kwa Keta Trace. Niaje kam audition. Akawacha shughuli zake za kutafuta mzai, akakuja audition, akapiga audition, tuka mimi mwenye nikamkalisha hapo karibu wana hawa na upuzi. Mazee na amekaa tu. Siku anajua hiyo time yote Um Resh ana go through so much so much so unaweza imagine jo vile nilisikia nikiwa nimeka pale mtaa na scroll through IG then nakutana na poster ya ule mdema amekelea kwa IG akisema maze nisaidieni kutafuta budangu amepotea it's been weeks now ah wow 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 wow, wow. ili niuma ili niuma deadly so ika kwa sasa ni tusukume vitu wasanii wakaekelea posta kwa nini maze tu to try to spread kitu maze tuone kama kama mzee atapatikana kidogo kidogo maze stories zimeanza kutokea mara kuna mse anadai eh, eh kuna Volvo eh, CX60 ina fit description ya baba yenu iko Mombasa kuna mtu anajaribu kuiuza ah sasa ni tusukume mazee attention yote Mombasa mazee. Nani wewe anajaribu kuuza Volvo ya mzae mazee? Na kama anauza hii gari amefanya nini na mzae? Mzae yako wapi? Unaona wakarusha mazee uzito Mombasa. Ah, kidogo kidogo wanagundua kuna ni nonsense. Unajua kuna wase tu hawanaga form na life yao. Wamekaa tu mtaa wakiona mavitu hapa kwa mtandao wanaanza kutafuta tu design ya kukuwa a distraction which is nonsensical by the way. So ah wakaona hiyo leader yendi mahali. Kidogo kidogo mse anajitokeza sijui ati ni prophet. Anadai ati oh e, mzae ako place fit ni vile tu amefungiwa e, after some time atakuwa fit mstie shaka mspanic. So anashindwa amefungiwa kwa nini? First of all when ni nani prophet wa as in yo but so say time acha show ukiwa kwa situation kama hii una clutching at all straws zote zinarushwa kwako. Hata kama idea inaka mazee kifala aje unaikaga tu hope hapo juu mazee ni mzee wako man amepotea hizi karibu mwezi na aonekani so ah wakona hata ya huyu preacher mazee hakuna ah, kitu man wakapiga search wakapiga search wakapiga search at some point ikafika mahali mazee 
trail ka go cold mzaya onekani hakuna msi anajua any about uh, yeye yeah, wame report kila mahali embu wanajua nairobi wanajua as in anything that could have been done had been done but still akukua na saini ya mzai one month two months three months four months five months later as in paka yani wako on the verge of giving up maze yani five months mzai hayuko atujui ka ko sawa maze ikapata after the fifth month yo the fifth month ndio birthday ya umsani so kawaida pale katika harakati za kukata keki siku na koga na kale ka moment before blow keki unaambiwa ni aje tuambie wish aya sema wish hapo alafu ublow hii kitu so maze right before blow hizi candles maze akadai kimoyo moyo maze maze tusitafute mzae tena yani mzae mali tu yuko wacha tumuone whether ametuacha ama ko alive maze yo closure ni everything maze na ka blow hizo candles wadao one week later one week mother ametulia kejani ana pressure yeye yeah, akotuma shughuli zake simu inaingia ana check phone anaona inatoka wapi embu county anachukua simu anaambiwa jo eh hey, habari mama uko salama eh hey, hey, itabidi ukuje embu teke teke uh, there have been some, some developments ah so mother anajiambia oh Okay maybe this is it maze so ana akatoka maze teke teke ndai teke teke anaelekea wapi embu county unajua ile maze una drive tu ukisema okay una hope for the best but bado uko prepared for the worst maze so huyo teke teke ameingia embu county maze ameingia pale kwa ofisi ya bigwa wa karao jo anampeleka wapi maze kwa rive kando ya rive maze yani kwa hiyo river bana akiangalia pale ndani anaona a set of four tires inakaa ni kama gari iko upside down maze zinachungulia kwa maji unachiki gari kiwa upside down alafu taya ndio ziko juu zinachungulia kwa maji hapo unaona tu taya nne hivi maze akaambiwa so mam eh, kuna mtu ameona hii gari hapa ametupigia simu tuka kam eh, in fact divers washafika ndio tunangoja eh, watoke huko chini watupatie information maze so maze anaangalia hivi so hii gari imefunikwa maze uwezi tell kabisa ni, ni type gani So maze divers wanatoka hivi maze wanakama na information yote registration number type ya gari Volvo XC60 registration number match ndani ya hiyo Volvo strapped onto his seat ni budaum resh maze unaweza tell i guess maybe final moments hakukua na fight sana juu mpaka belt iko ndani as in ameketi tuko hiyo kiti gari iko upside down rocking to the waves the yo river for four months five months kutoka april mpaka september finally mazee wamempata so mazee waka divers wakafanya mambo yao wakatoa body pale kapele kwa mochari mazee na ikakuwa ndio hivyo jo after five months za agony mazee na kungoja finally mazee family ilipata closure man <sighs> wow story moja heavy man yo hiyo ni story moja kila time maze mu mu skeus and two chills down my spine maze yeah kwa sure wengi maze mna try kupiga madarubini ni nani huyu maze ni nani so msanii maze ambaye alipitia hii ngori yote bana mwaka wa 2018 ni none other than Joyce Minor actor hodari maze kama uli watch sumu la penzi yuko hapo kama wewe watch chat spot pale switch tv yuko pale alipiga movie moja matata sana maisha magic na jita Aisha hatari kuruka one of the best best to ever do it but the thing that just me the most about um sani maze ni yo love yake for the craft yani Budako ako missing hayuko wapatikani lakini bado uko na nguvu ya kutoka kwa kitanda uende kawa askari auditions although your time akika auditions truth be told alikuwa amewezwa mbaya ni vile tu atukujua ali try sana maze kuji hold but uh, from kuongea na yeye maze anadai alikuwa amewezwa mbaya design hata akika mkawa askari unajua ukienda kawa askari kuna mali unatoka anga exit 10 unatoka kwa highway ndio unaingia chini ya tunnel alikuwa so absent minded alipita huko okay, keyu alienda kuzunguka huko mbele kama kis kwa bypass Maze but bado tu alikam na akapiga the best that she could na akarudi kupiga maze hasoli ya kutafuta budaki. Ikanikumbusha maze story ya Kate Actress maze wakati tulikuwa tunatafuta msanii. 
then akapotea badala ya kwenda kwa askari akaenda kwa west lakini kumwambia toke west akuje shuge was so much work for her akaona hiyo haiwezi hapa kuna msanii amepoteza baba mazee anatoka kwa kitanda anakuja auditions ah, yo si wengi wako na roho kama hiyo mazee so from the bottom of my heart mazee Joyce Maina I want to salute you wewe ni hatari i am so sorry i kept you waiting for like a whole hour wakati una grieve ah mazee wewe ni hatari man wewe ni hatari sana so adao umefika huo wakati mazee we did it with dna jalango did it for us so i roundi nataka mazee turudishe mkono jalango alifanya mambo na sisi sana hii wiki kama wakurugenzi situweke uzito wetu pia sisi kwa msanii Joyce Maina pale ako na youtube channel matata kuruka inajita the east african girl at the moment uh, at the time i was telling this story alikuwa at uh, 19.9 uh, subscribers 19.9k mimi nataka tu double kitu mazee tuingieni pale na ile fujo you know in true wakurugenzi swag twende tugonge hiyo subscribe button mpaka ifade maze wacha tumsukume 40000 sababu gani sababu sisi ni wakurugenzi and we can damn well do it ama vipi wadau sasawa twende kazi shukran sana tuonane eh, next week on tuesday so ratiba itabadilika on tuesday on wednesday tunakoga na young and stupid atutakuwa nayo tutakuwa na celebrity first encounter ingine then on friday tunafanya young and stupid live edition i'll see you ah tutaji nice kuruka maze tukutane bwana tufanye hiki kitu sasa wadau but in the meantime the east african girl nitaeka link hapa hivi chini tuingie hapo tuvuruge sasa peace